The Future of America is the fifth movie in the Purge franchise and follows a group of people who attempt to escape the United States after a movement continues committing crimes and murders nationwide after the Purge's ending. So now we have five of these Purge movies. And to give my little background on how I feel about the Purge movies, I feel like the first one was a complete misfire, which I think they really did a good course correction with, Pur with Purge Anarchy, which is my favorite. And they did a great follow-up with that with Election Year. And in my opinion, they the franchise kind of took a nosedive with the first Purge because of some of the political statements they were trying to make just really didn't work for me. But I was really excited for another Purge film because I overall just like the concept of letting society go loose for 12 hours and you can do whatever you want, rape, kill, whatever you want. It's all legal. Go have fun. And my overall thoughts coming out of the Purge, well, the Forever Purge, um, it was decent. It was okay. But guys, I feel like this and the first Purge, it's going to be really hard debating which one is the worst of the franchise. Either this one or the first Purge. I'm really not a fan of a real a real good fan of this one i don't know maybe maybe it can grow on me but for right now this, this one really just wasn't hitting but let's get to the positives now the positives of the first purge is that just like in my intro i really do enjoy the concept of the purge the 12 hours people can do whatever they want and people can just go willy-nilly i also really enjoy will Patton's character man he's always such a great actor uh, to really have in movies like these because I first saw him in Halloween 2018 another film which I really like and I feel like he's just as good as that in that film then he then he uh, is a bit of another character I really enjoy was Will Patton who I first saw in Halloween 2018 and I really enjoyed his character in this one he felt like the only character that really had a sense of life to him and really had any bit of like a personality to him, which is something I'll get in my negatives with. I really think the action in here is really a step up from really the first Purge. I love the fact that this is more of a road trip movie and you can see people like on bikes and they're on horses and you know there's like little traps above the city and when they get to the city it's total anarchy just everywhere and that's the type of stuff I love when I come to a Purge film. And is there anything else that I can say about the Forever Purge? No, that's pretty much it. Um, it was... It had a great poster? Eh. Alright, now we're going to move on to my negatives. I mainly have two with this film. And it's the characters. The characters in here, I just felt like, were really cardboard cutouts. They were not filled with life. They were almost really here just to service really the story. And in my opinion, the only reason why you even root for these characters is the fact that they're the main characters and they're the only ones that are not purging. If anything, they're trying to escape the purge. They're not for the purge. I mean, even with some of their line delivery, it's almost like if somebody took this index card and say, hey, can you please read these words right here with no life, no no anything. Just read these words right here and you'll get your full paycheck. And they were like, okay. And that's basically like really the characters in this film. You really don't get a sense like you did with Frank Grillo's character that there really isn't really an urgency to really do anything. It's almost like they're just here to really service the story and the message and speaking of message that's probably like my biggest problem with my with this film and something that you're probably going to hear from other people's reviews this film is very political has a lot of politics and a lot of like wokeness to it and this is one of my negatives with the first perch they literally take all of the politics and all of the like social things and everything that's relevant in today's society and literally pushes that to the forefront there is stuff in here about border walks about capitalism about racism about you know um i'm trying trying to think about like white supremacy and all and all this other stuff that does get pushed to the forefront but in my opinion the movie doesn't have time to really develop on those uh ideas so it's almost like it's leaving the audience to sort of fill in what the movie is not telling us and for me that came off more as really tiring than really having something to say so overall um with with forever purge i feel like this you can definitely tell the franchise is getting a little tiring, that they're starting to run out on fuel. And I heard rumors that in uh, the next one, in the Six Purge film, that they're bringing Frank Grillo's character back. And I feel like that is like the perfect uh, choice for them to make because at this point, you can definitely see that the franchise is definitely running on low. I'm going to give The Forever Purge a 5 out of 10. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't, for don't forget to leave a like, comment subscribe
I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.